We're back. I am back with another x-ray video for you guys. I've been getting so many questions under my x-ray videos, so I decided to just do a new updated video for you guys because I can't keep up. I have my pink scrubs on, ready to talk about everything that you need to know about x-ray school. I'm gonna go down a list of everything that you need to know about x-ray school before going into x-ray school because it's a lot, okay? And most of the time, it's not what you expect. It's not what I expected, so I wish I had this video before going into x-ray school that's why i'm making it for you guys so i am going to be jumping into a list for you guys and if you have any more questions comment down below but this is just going to be the main points of everything that i wish i knew and a lot of questions that y'all are asking before going into x-ray school so let's jump into it because i keep repeating myself we're going to jump into the list i graduated in august from x-ray no July from x-ray school. So I've been working in the field for three or four months now. So I think it's time that I make a new x-ray video. So let's jump into the list now. Okay, so the first thing that you should know about x-ray school is how difficult it can be. Before going into the program, I thought it was going to be a breeze. I was like, I did so good on my prerequisites before going to into the program. So I thought I had it all figured out, but no, you learn so much in x-ray school. For example, you're going to do anatomy because you have to know your anatomy. You have to know physics. Um, you have to know like the x-ray tube, x-ray protection. You have to know the vessels in the body. Why? I couldn't tell you. There is so much that goes into the program. I'm thinking before I get in there, I'm thinking it's going to be anatomy and oh, I'm just taking pictures like it's not going to be that hard. It is and it is so time consuming. I'm not trying to scare you. I am just being honest. And by the way, I went in there blindsided. I didn't work in a hospital prior. I worked in the restaurant for like six, seven years. Like I had no idea about anything. It's just a lot. It's hard. When you go into x-ray school, you're doing different classes like x-ray protection, anatomy, physics you're doing all of that even like math and all of that is involved in x-ray which you know i'm thinking i'm doing a math prereq i'm not gonna have to deal with that in x-ray school you are you are yeah and on top of that it's very time consuming because you're doing clinicals plus school and if you need to work while in school that on top of it it's a lot okay and clinicals is a lot Overall, it's not easy, but if you put in the work, you got it. But I just wish I knew how difficult it would be before going into the program because, you know, maybe I would have, if I would have had a heads up, it might have been a little easier, you know, because I kind of went in there like cocky, like, oh, I got this. Mm -mm. It's hard. Probably the hardest thing I've ever done, but it is worth it in the end. So another thing you should know about x-ray school is how competitive x-ray school is. It is a very competitive program. Before I went into the program, I wish I knew this a little more. So for example, my program, like my school accepted 60 people out of 300 applicants. They accepted 60 people out of 300 people that applied. So I was one of the 60 people that made it out of 300 and something people. A lot of states are very competitive with the x-ray program. Obviously they want good candidates and they have to slim it down because they can't accept everyone because obviously there's not enough jobs out there for everyone. So what I can say is before you apply, if they require prerequisites, do all of your prerequisites before applying. And then on top of that, what I suggest is go to your local hospital and be a volunteer and shadow the x-ray department. That will look so good on your record and you will stand out. And I think you'd have a better chance of getting into the program. So that's what I did and I got in on my first try. So I strongly, strongly suggest that. Another thing you should know about x-ray school i started blanking just now another thing that you should know about x-ray school is clinicals if you do not know what clinicals is clinicals is basically when you go in the hospital and you do your job as a medical professional but you don't get paid for it you don't get paid for it you do the job that you will be doing when you graduate except you don't get paid and you're really learning like very hands-on experience but before going in, I did not know how long we'll be going to clinicals for. So for example, 
I went three days out of the week for eight and a half hours a day in the hospital doing everything that an x-ray professional would do, except you don't get paid and yeah. <laughs> It's very time consuming. Um, I would also do clinicals around like nursing students. Obviously I wasn't in their department, but I would ask them like, oh, like how long do y'all go to clinicals? Literally the nursing students went to clinicals one time a week. I don't know, like that might vary, but I was like, what? We go three times a week and the nursing students were going one time a week. So x-ray clinicals, you, I mean, you're gonna learn like, that's the good part. You're going to know what you're doing after them two years. Like it's nothing like you can do it with your eyes closed, which is great, but it's a lot. Definitely. If you're not getting paid and definitely on top of classes and on top of working, trying to pay your bills, it's a lot. You will be at clinicals more than you will be at home almost. So yeah, I wish I knew that prior because I would have saved a lot of money prior <laughs> if I knew like how much clinicals we have to do. It's a good thing but it's also a time consuming thing. So it's good to know that beforehand. Every state might be different, but my clinicals was three times a week for eight and a half hours a day. Another thing you should know about x-ray school is you will be around blood. You tried to take the x-ray route rather than the nursing route, thinking you would get out of like being around like gory stuff, being around like people's blood and stuff like that, um, you thought wrong. You're gonna be around it just as much as nurses are. Whenever you're doing clinicals, you have to rotate through the operating room, which is where they do surgeries. You go in with the surgeon and you're gonna have to control a big x-ray tube while they're doing surgery. So you will be seeing a lot of that. So if you tried to go the x-ray route, trying to get out of like, you know, people's fluids and all that. Yeah, you thought wrong because you are going to be around it. You have to rotate through the OR in x-ray. And also you're gonna see that in the hospital whenever you rotate through the hospitals because it's bound to happen. You're in a hospital, okay? They have trauma, they have all of that. So you will see that. Whenever you get out of x-ray school, if you work in like an outpatient center, you might see that less. But if you work in a hospital, you'll see that. Um, if you work in MRI, CT, or cath lab or anything, you will see that. Also, you will be starting IVs, not in the program. Like in my program, we didn't have to start IVs. We had like an IV class on a dummy, but whenever you get out of the program and if you wanna do MRI or CT, you will have to start IVs on people. So yeah. Another thing you should know about x-ray school is that there are so many different modalities that you can go into rather than just x-ray. Before going into x-ray school, I literally only thought x-ray. Like I just thought you take diagnostic images of the bones and people's body, but no, there are so many different careers that you can venture off into that I wish I knew prior before going into x-ray school because I feel like if I knew prior, I would know, cause I was kind of confused as to what modality I wanted to go into. You don't have to go into a modality, but it's good to know beforehand. So you can start like, applying to those jobs like it's kind of hard deciding on what modality you want to do but there's literally so many different career paths you can take with an x-ray degree you can do mri you can do ct you can do nuclear medicine you can do sonography you can do mammography you can do cath lab you can do interventional radiology you can do diagnostic radiology you can work in the or which is like the operating room with the surgeons there are so many different things that you can do with this degree. So like if you ever get tired of one thing, you can go into another and not get tired. You're always gonna have a job, point blank, period. Another thing I wish I knew about x-ray school, this is more about like the clinical route of how sad it can be. It can be so sad. I am an empath at heart and I feel when people feel and like I just, I get the feels, okay? And I hide it very well, but like, working in a hospital you are going to see some sad things and i feel like before going into the x-ray program like i thought nurses more seen that but because like kind of x-ray is their own department but x-ray sees it just as much as nurses do it's sad you're going to see sick people you're going to see horrible things you know like it is very sad so i think that's something you need to prepare for or take into consideration before 
you get into the program because when you're rotating through clinicals and obviously when you get a job, you are gonna see some sad, sad things. And I almost thought I was kind of getting out of that by going into x-ray because I thought you wouldn't see it as much, but you do, you see it just as much. Another thing that you should know about x-ray school is once you finish your program, you have to complete a test called the ARRT. So you don't really get your degree until you take a state test which I had no idea about. So obviously you go to school for two years on top of your two years of prereqs and you're gonna get an x-ray degree in applied sciences. But there is a test that you take after the two years called the ARRT. This is a 230 question test that you, you don't take it with your school. You have to apply within your state and take it with the state. A 230 question test about everything you have learned in the past two years about x-ray, physics, anatomy, just everything you have learned in this one test. And if you don't pass this test with a 77 or higher, you fail. If you don't pass this test, I think you have the option to take it three times with a 77 or higher. So like if I got a 76, I would have to retake it. If I got a 76, I'd have to retake it. And on that third try, if you don't pass it, you have to restart the program. No matter if you passed all of your classes with the x-ray program, if you do not pass the state test on your third try, you have to restart the program, reapply for the program, and then take that test again in two years. So yeah i didn't know that i thought that <laughs> those two years i do the two years of x-ray school and i get my degree and i'm an x-ray technologist but no you do the two years and then on top of that you have to take a state test to get two letters behind your name radiologic technologist to become a radiologic technologist <laughs> and yeah i didn't know that i thought you just have to get accepted into the program and pass the program but no you have to get accepted pass take a state test past that and another thing is the state test it's about two hundred dollars maybe a little less but you have to take that every time yeah so like if i didn't pass the first time i have to pay another another two hundred dollars reapply for the test and then take it again you have to pay that each time so yeah i didn't know that and for that test i probably studied for like two weeks straight that was really hard. But yeah, I feel like that covers the bases of the x-ray schooling. If y'all have any more questions, you could go ahead and comment down below. But I feel like I I feel like I covered the gist of it, the main points of it, things that I wish I knew, things that I feel like people should know before going into the program that I didn't know. Overall, it's 100% worth it. We are the eyes of medicine. It's a great field. You're always gonna have a job. You'll never get bored with it. It's amazing and very worth it. So I hope this didn't discourage anyone, but I also wanted to be 100% honest. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Love ya, bye.